boys and girls, we have been very busy creating beautiful snowflakes that have six points on them. And if you remember, we are focusing on dendrite style snowflakes. So we need to have quite a few supplies to create our next step. So I'm gonna start with washable markers. We're making sure that we are not selecting permanent markers from the third grade spot. So I have washable markers and I also have a piece of printing paper and the printing paper that I have is very thick. So we're needing to pick that up and I'm going to mark the center of my paper first because I wanna make sure that as I'm printing, I'm being accurate. I've also got out a sponge and I went to the sink first and I filled the sponge with water and I squeezed off the excess water and I just have it on a place a piece of paper towel right next to what I'm doing. Our next step for creating our mono print. Mono print means to print once. And so we are going to be creating color onto our printing block. And if you remember last week, we created this printing block by pressing in with a scratch art tool. And that scratch art tool allowed us to press a groove into a piece of foam. And that groove is very critical. We need to make sure that that groove is deep. So when we add this marker, the marker does not go into the groove. And you're going to see in a little bit why that is so important. But make sure that you press into your foam at least twice and that your groove goes down halfway into the foam. We're also going to be using only one color on the background. So you have to decide on a color that you really like for this. The reasoning for this is that we're going to be emphasizing our design by having one simple color. And I've selected violet for my color. And so I'm going around all of my six points that I have on my snowflake really carefully with that marker. And then I'm going to select new colors for each of the points. And so I have details on these points, so I'm being careful to go around them with the color. I'm also making sure that I don't go into the grooves. So take your time and add color to each of your areas. So boys and girls, as I was using the marker, I was getting the white paper messy. So I set it aside. So you are needing to do that before you start adding marker to your printing block. So I have my printing block filled with color and I have my white sheet of paper all set to begin to print. But my first step is to get this white paper wet. So I'm taking my water filled sponge and I'm rubbing it across the whole sheet of paper. And so I'm hoping you notice that the whole paper is wet. Then I'm going to take my printing block and I'm going to turn it upside down and place it inside of that square I traced earlier. And this really important part is to make sure that you rub the entire surface of the back of your mono print. So I'm pressing and rubbing, pressing and rubbing. And then I'm gonna do something called pulling my print block. So I'm going to carefully pull it. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. I'm so happy with my art. So take your time, boys and girls, and create your own monoprint.